It's scheduled for 12. Still on his toes. It's getting to be borderline incredible here. If he does five rounds on his toes, that will really be something. Piling up the points, meanwhile. The referee is Dick Young and showing what a great fight it is at this point. Young is uh, really uh, not necessary. He could be refereeing this fight from the fourth row. Yes, he could be the invisible referee. You just have not seen him. He's not been necessary. Both fighters, extremely clean fighters. They have been bouncing around the ring. There's been no clinches, nothing dirty. Ali on his toes, but for the first time between rounds four, after round four and before round five, this round, Ali for the first time sat on a stool. Uh, prior to that, he'd been standing up, showing disdain almost for any suggestion or hint that he sit down. One of the things you will notice in this fight, as in all Muhammad Ali fights, is he disdains the body. He's one of the few fighters I've ever seen that's gotten to such Olympian heights as he has, ignoring the body. Totally. He is totally a headhunter. He builds up points, he knocks people out, and it's all to the body. Where, uh, to the head, whereas Norton has been schooled very well by Eddie Futch, and he will go downstairs, and he will try to pound it. Had he been doing that in the first five rounds, it is possible that Ali would not be bouncing around on his toes, but he hasn't been able to catch up with Ali to thump any body shots in there. You see the way Ali just changed directions just then? That's what's made him a great heavyweight. Very few people can move to both sides like Ali and punch on the movement from both sides. That's what Angelo Dundee loved about Muhammad Ali. He said he can move, but to move to either side like that with that fluidity and that grace is something you just don't see in heavyweights. Well, you don't see it. Maybe you see it in heavyweights early in their career, but you got to remember and look back that it was 1964. That's nine years ago that this man on the right became the heavyweight champion of the world. And here he is nine years later, still on his toes, still looking like the youngster that he was then when he beat Sonny Liston in Miami, Florida. And forced into a retirement for almost three years without a fight, which would have ended anybody else's career. Still he came back, still he regained his reflexes, his conditioning, still his stamina, his desire, his will to win. He's an exceptional young man, Muhammad Ali. Well, there's no question he's serious about his business, and he's never been more serious than he is tonight, because as we said earlier, he cannot, cannot stand to lose a second time to Ken Norton. There's Ken Norton winging two good body shots, the first two really good body shots of the fight, and he must do this to get Ali down off his toes. No knockdowns. We're in round five. In the meantime, he's taking a beating to the face since Ali just keeps flicking out. Well, Norton has not been known to cut, so obviously, despite all the punishment, he is uh, in there as round five comes to an end. At the end of round five, waiting for round six, and here's a look back at the action in round five, Purdy. Here's where you can see Ali trying to hold off Kenny so that you don't get into head-to-head -head confrontation. Okay, the bell for round six, and here we go in Los Angeles at the Forum. It's scheduled for 12. Muhammad Ali, very impressive, still on his toes, still moving, frustrating to some respect. The challenge of Ken Norton, who is trying for the second time within five and a half months to beat the highly rated and former champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. And Kenny Norton should be a very confused fighter by now. He's saying, what's this? The last time I was able to whip this guy easy, and all of a sudden I can't even find him. Well, he's not only not finding Ali, but he's finding Ali's fist right in his face. Good Ali. right hand moments ago to the chin of Ken Norton coming from Ali. Lightning-like reflexes. Ali is able to counter punch off the ropes better than almost any fighter. And Kenny still trying to come on, still trying to wait for him to get tired enough to exchange and tie him up and fight on the inside and go to the body. First two good punches by Norton of this round. First time he's going to the body real hard in this round. He's trying to out jab Ali, which he has not been able to do up to this point. Now he's cutting him off in a corner. He's getting his jab in. It's a little bit better for Kenny Norton this round. We're in round six, and this is the way it's been going. Can you do, and notice, Bob, that Ali is slowing down a little bit, and Norton is catching up. He's cutting that distance, and that means that pretty soon he's going to be landing his kind of bombs, just like he did five and a half months ago, and we'll see how much that affects Ali. That was a good left to the chin of Ali thrown by Ken Norton. He almost lost his mind. I must agree there. with you. After being dominated by Ali, this is a better round, and a round thus far in the favor of Norton. Another left, another one, 
He is beginning to out jab Ali. First time Ali comes right back with a left right, another left hook, a left uppercut. But here comes Norton. Oh, a good right cross, just grazing the chin. Again, Ali with his left hand hooking Norton behind the head and pulling him to him. Now they're exchanging jab, a roundhouse left by Ali which missed. And they cut the action continues along the road. Oh, oh a good left right by Ali. A good left hook by Ali. A miss by Norton. Norton right in his face, talking to him, taunting him, wanting the action to pick up. Tremendous action here in round six. The best action thus far. Kenny Norton, a rejuvenized fighter, coming out and doing things he had not done in the first five rounds, Bertie. He has literally cut the distance and almost run over to him. He's been hollering and taunting him, and Ali has been... Slowing down. Inequitably, he has been slowing down. That could be because of the body shots. It could be because he has been on his toes for five rounds and standing up in the corner between. Less than 10 seconds remaining in round six, and it's been a big round for the man in the blue trucks, but he took a great right there as the bell is about to sound for round six. All right, here's Ken Norton and Muhammad Ali, and let's take a look at round six, Bertie. Here's where you see Muhammad Ali at his best. When he's up against the ropes, here comes a determined determined Norton he gets hit now Ali is looking for his right hand to come over lands a hook in anticipation of it he's watching it there it goes whoops it missed and Ali is still there now Norton enraged is screaming at him Ali moving away throws the right hand moving away which is a favorite punch of his from the ropes a left and moves away well it's gonna be very frustrating for Ken Norton well, Ken here. Norton's heating up now. Bob, he's talking to him. He's getting mad. He's getting the reins. It's going to be interesting to see what happens this next round. Okay, waiting for the bell for round seven. Once again, Muhammad Ali on his toes at the bell. It's coming from Los Angeles. It's scheduled for 12. And this is Bob Halloran along with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. And we're struck with the amazing difference between five and a half months ago when Norton dominated the entire opening of the fight, and Ali is now doing the reverse. He has dominated the entire opening of this fight, although now it's getting close because Norton's coming on and closing the range. Bertie, you often say that you can't tell Muhammad Ali anything, but where are the instructions from you and Angelo and everybody else connected with him? A good left there thrown to the chin, and a right, and then followed up with another left to the belly by Norton. Well, in all truth, there's only one man whose opinion counts in the corner, and that's Angelo Dundee. He's telling him to do more of what he's been doing up to now. Obviously, Ali already knows that. My question was, did you, did you tell him that he must go out in, in direct uh, contrast to his previous fight that he lost, that he must go out and win early? Oh, obviously, Angelo's instructions as well as Ali's instructions. After all, Ali is one of the smartest men in the ring, and he knows he had to come out and get an early lead. He's gotten that. Now the question is, does he keep on dancing, or does he get down to some serious fighting now that he's got Norton so frustrated and rattled? What? I was wondering, Purdy, he's had a history of making uh, predictions, Muhammad Ali. Did he ever make a prediction here? Never, in, this. never in the corner. And all uh, the time I've, I've worked with him up to now, I've never heard him predict around. He goes out and takes care of business. He's deadly serious in the corner. All the rest of that is show business. Now look at, look at Norton taking leverage. Now this is what he did in San Diego five and a half months ago. And Ali is standing still. Now that is really mysterious because he's been moving so good. Again, the left hand behind Norton. Again, the attempt to smother him. In and comes the referee for the first time. Dick Young has to really exert his authority to break them up. And Boudini is going predictably crazy in the corner. Well, I don't know what he's telling him, but he's moving almost as good as his favorite fighter is, Muhammad Ali. Good rights and left to the head, and Norton counter punches right back to the ex-champion. Goes over the head with one, and Ali coming back with the jab, an uppercut. And Norton slashes to the body with the left and follows it to the right, and Ali grabs and holds on. Norton fighting the rage, no question about it. Ali looking for flex and bewildered in the corner. He's not his usual spinning self. He didn't get out of that corner very well. Oh, Again, he got hit. That took, uh, put on by Ken Norton in less than 30 seconds now. A big round for Ken Norton. Oh, my. The tempo of this fight is changing. Ken Norton has found her in corner to corner. He's caught him in every corner, every one. He's landing uppercuts between the two gloves of Ali, and Ali is not doing anything about it. A big, big round. In fact, more, be a large, better round than Norton had him with beating him five and a half months ago. That's one of the best rounds Ken Norton has ever Muhammad Ali. Round seven, winding down.